Hey painters, welcome to closed casket construction. Two months ago, I went on a trip and when I came home, my living space had flooded with over three feet of water and I destroyed everything I owned. Yeah. So my art studio was gone, all my supplies were gone, my bed was gone. We had to tear everything out, gut everything, take the floors out, the walls, everything. Gut it all, throw away everything, and now we are going to be rebuilding. So I'm gonna film the entire art studio rebuild, show you guys that whole process. <sighs> If you're new here, I burp a lot, get used to it. In this first part of our studio rebuild, we're gonna be doing drywall and taping and getting all the walls up. My dad is a carpenter. They let him take a bunch of extra drywall, which saved so much money. And since a lot of our stuff was destroyed, any money we can save rebuilding is just a blessing. He got all the drywall hung and I'm going to be doing all the taping. I've had experience taping in the past, so after just a quick reminder, I was able to jump right back in without much issue. So this was actually my first time ever taping a corner. So this first one was actually kind of difficult and I had to definitely take a break and like reassess how I was gonna do them. But I started doing them in smaller sections instead of trying to do all in one piece. And when I split it up into two separate pieces of tape, it was a lot easier on me and a lot less stressful. I was getting really, really angry doing it at first. And when I took a break, slowed down and kind of like broke it up into two separate parts, it definitely became a lot easier for me me and just made the work process a lot smoother. One thing I've noticed when it comes to taping is it's really, really easy to kind of get frustrated when things don't get perfect. So I've definitely had to teach myself to kind of like chill out and not like, you know, bull in a china shop, rush through everything and kind of slow it down and make it look nice. definitely got a little too excited working and there are a lot more coats that I did that you guys didn't see and the entire ceiling. <laughs> I just got like really into working one of the days and just started pumping through it. I forgot to film anything. Oddly enough, when you don't really have a space to call your own, videos are the last thing on your mind and you're kind of focused on like, build, work, I need my own space again. Yeah, I didn't film much. <laughs> Once I had gone through all the layers of mud and had all the ceilings joined together, I had to go through and years and years of sanding all this stuff down. It felt like it was forever. The mask I was wearing was not good enough. I definitely recommend getting like a good mask if you're ever gonna be doing taping. I just wore like a fabric one and the amount of dust that ended up going into my lungs, little ridiculous. I had quite a cough one of the nights. Don't be dumb like me. Use your brain, go get a face protection. Also, safety glasses. I had a lot of dust in my eyes too. Probably just a lot of common sense things that I didn't do that you guys should probably do in the future if you're building your own art studio or building anything. It doesn't have to be an art studio, but. Here's the thing about sweeping dust. You could do a layer and then you leave and you come back an hour later and all the rest of the dust settles on the floor again and then you have to sweep again. And then you leave and an hour later you come back and sweep again. So still have a little bit more sweeping to do and once it's all said and done, I'll vacuum. I didn't want to vacuum with too much dust in the room because it'll kick it all up in the air. It'll just be hazy and just gonna make it more difficult, honestly. With all that sweeping done, here we are in my newly drywalled and taped art studio space. Our next step is to go through and prime this entire wall and then painting.
So once I had gotten the first level of primer down, we decided that we would put the first base layer of floors down. Uh, we're going with a much thicker plywood than we had last time. So the first thing we did with the flooring was put down a layer of Tyvek. Uh, that pretty much keeps any water from ever touching your plywood. We did that, then started putting down our layer of plywood. Uh, this won't be the only layer of floor we do. We're gonna do a layer of what I think is called Lenore. Might be way off with that. And then we'll probably do a some kind of like hardwood floor. Might even do like a linoleum hardwood look. I'm not sure, we haven't really decided yet, but for now, just to get back in the room, we're just doing the plywood. You're not gonna see like a full finished product in this video. Basically the goal is to just get back in a space. Like it's not to fully finish, you, we're not gonna do trim, not gonna like fully finish the floors. It's just get back in here as quick as possible. So walls, floors, and a door, that's the priority. But now that we have floors in, we were able to go back in, add one more layer of primer, and added our white paint. Before the flood happened, I just had a normal white. It looks really nice with all the art that I usually hang. Any other color kind of like clashes with any art that I might want to hang. So white just tends to be the best color for my walls. Once we had our final layer of white paint done, the only thing separating me from having this space is a door. You can't just have like a, an open, open space. The demons might get in. Already picked up a door, just gotta get that put on, and then there it is. My little art studio living space is livable once more for the first time in three months. <laughs> Let's build the door. And just like that, painters, the casket is closed. We're done, at least with the rough end, to get back into the art studio. I don't have much to say. It's been a very long process. It does feel nice to like be in a space that I built with my own two hands now. Um, so that's kind of cool. It, it gives it a little more of like a personal feeling, but I'm more just like, I don't know. The exhaustion is settling in from three months of hell. So that's gonna wrap this video, guys. The studio, it's back. Next video, we're decorating. We're gonna make it not just like a hollow shell. We're gonna turn it into the actual space station. Appreciate you guys watching the rebuild. I appreciate all you guys being so supportive over these three months. Like I said, they've been crazy. Um, I know there was a lot of echo in this video. We're gonna do something about that, don't worry. I already am planning to fix that. And yeah, we're in a hollow shell of a room. Once we get more stuff in here, it'll take some of that echo away. Appreciate you guys. Y'all are the best. GG painters, we did it. <laughs>